Welcome back to the second part of putting this code from Muse into our project to get our spheres moving around using the mouse. Okay, so we ended up with in the last video some debug items to put into the code. Now, this code here isn't complete, okay, so it's going to assume that you know what you've already written in there. And if you have a look at where this code is, okay, it's immediately inside the update. And it's the first if statement with the get mouse button down. So basically we're replacing what's already in there for this first part with this here. Okay, so we've grabbed that and I've already pasted it into my code, which is up here. So we've got this update and that's the new code there. It's going to tell us whether we have hit an object and we're starting to drag it or we haven't hit an object at all. Okay, so we're going to save that and flick back into Unity. Press play and try out the code. So it's the console I need to go to to see the messages. Let me just clear that of that other message. Right, so in here I can now click and drag. So, well, not drag in this case, but you can see if I click on the background, I'll say Raycast didn't hit anything. Click on the object and Raycast is hitting it. Okay, so at least that part is actually working. So let's go back to Muse and we will tell it that the Raycast is hitting an object. It says it's going to start dragging, but nothing happens. Okay, so um, the debug code shows that an object is being hit and dragging is starting. However, the object does not move when the mouse does. Right, let's see what it comes back with this time. All right, so it's come back with not code this time, but a whole heap of different suggestions. Uh, so rather than let you read through them all, what we need to do at this point is to basically go and fix the code ourselves because we're having too much difficulty doing this. But what I will try is to grab what I've got in the code. Okay, so let's come down here and we're going to grab this bit here. This is the bit that's meant to be moving the game object in the plane of the camera. So I'm going to grab that and go back into Unity. And in here, I'll say I have this code to move a game object around with the mouse. The object is being selected but this part of the code isn't moving. Okay, colon, and then paste my code in. Right, and let's just see what it says about that part of the code. All right, so at this point, it's still not really giving me a lot of assistance. Uh, so it's giving me a lot of explanations about how to fix it up or, or how to debug it if it's not working, even though it's the code that it gave me. Right, so at this point, I'm going to abandon this script because it's taking all the context in from what we've already done. Let's go into a new chat and I'm going to say, uh, let's see, I have selected a game object with the mouse. When I drag the mouse, I want the object to move horizontally and vertically based on the mouse movement. Uh, essentially, or basically, basically the selected game object should stay underneath the mouse position when the mouse is dragged. The object should always stay the same distance from the camera. 
Okay, let's see if it can give us some more improved code. So while it's thinking about that, as you've just seen, sometimes you do need to abandon what you've been working on because you'll just end up in a complete mess and trying to fix something that obviously isn't working, especially if you don't understand what's going on and it's just not working and it seems that the AI is insisting it should be working, but it, obviously it's not. So it's coming back now with some new code. So let's just have a look what it's given me. So it's giving me an update and it's giving me the code that we had before actually selecting an object. And then it's grabbing the mouse position and moving the object. And you can see in this particular case, this code is very different to what we had before because it was using a camera plane and things like that. So let's instead grab this code. So copy that, all of it, and I'm going to go back into my drag object code and select it and then paste in that new bit. Let's just check that the name of that script is still the same because we don't want that to change. And we've got hold of our main camera. All these are private, so we don't need to set them in the inspector. Okay, so with that, let's just save it and we'll go back into Unity. And this time, cross your fingers, that it's going to actually work to move these objects across the screen. Okay, so let's press play. Okay. And look at that, now it works. Okay, so I guess what we can learn from that, first of all, is that abandon any chats that just aren't working, okay? Because you want to clean out the context that's in there so that the AI starts again. And something that I actually did was maybe be a little bit too technical and specific in my first lot of chat where I said, let's move the objects in the plane of the camera. And, and so the AI kind of went down that path where in the simpler prompt that I used, which was the second one in this particular case, it was, I just want to move this object horizontally and vertically, vertically based on the mouse movement. Um, so yeah, it should stay the same distance from the camera. Okay, that was just probably a way simpler way of actually putting it rather than being highly specific like I was before. So don't get me wrong, I'm still being specific in how I want things to move. I just haven't sort of said, use the camera plane, which is what it tried to do. And that sort of led us into the wrong area. Okay, great. So now we figured out how to do that. So that's yeah, really nice. Now, if we copy this sphere and add more spheres, then we will be able to move those around on the screen as well. Right. So when we come back in the next lecture, we're going to ask Muse how we can draw a line on the screen between here and here.